This is featuring his works in Tel Aviv, and it's not the kind of art that we are used to. Philippe Pasqua has the magic touch to make skulls and dinosaurs a work of beauty. We have Maya Margit. All that glitters is not gold. But that's definitely not the case with Philippe Pasqua's work. The renowned French artist's latest exhibition, Memento Mori, opened at the Zimac Gallery in Israel. I enjoy coming to Israel to visit. It's a nice, pleasant country. This morning, I walked across the beach. The ambience and music were lovely and relaxing. Originally focused on painting, Pasqua turned to three-dimensional art a few years ago. His monumental sculptures have traveled all around the world, with keen collectors quickly snapping them up. Skulls, butterflies and T-Rexes, symbols of death and the fragility of life. Pasqua's work comes from a long-standing visual tradition known as vanitas. Dating from the 16th and 17th centuries, this art form looks at the futility of worldly pursuits. I buy skulls from labs or those used by medical professionals, so I have several. Once I buy them, we scan them, create a mold, and then I reproduce some of them as sculptures. At the Zima Gallery in Tel Aviv, curious onlookers wander in to catch a glimpse of these unique artworks. The sculptures are made of chrome, bronze, and other precious metals. Pasqua says he hopes Israeli audiences will connect to some of the bold imagery. These trees are very symbolic of everything taking place in Israel and everything that has taken place. You can definitely see the connection between the olive tree and Israel. Monumental sculptures weighing several tons were also recently featured in another major show in Monaco at the Oceanographic Museum. For the museum in Monaco and for me, the ecological message was very important. We wanted to make sure that we were getting a clear message across that people would understand. Philippe Pasqua's art, definitely worth its weight in gold. And coming up next, we'll